Welcome back, folks. Coral's Reef, how's everybody doing? Hope you guys are doing pretty good. You can see my fish tank's doing really good. Tank woke up like an hour ago. Here's this creature, the diamond. Gobi. He's just hanging out, making a mess. Let's go look at the side of the tank. You can see the side of the tank, it improved a lot better than it was a few days ago. The so Scoby is learning how to calm down. I guess he made his hole, so he's just sifting away like a normal Scoby should be. So what I'm going to do, folks, I'm going to shut everything down and we're going to clean out the sump. The sump, Gobi made a mess. You can see all the particles in there. So I'm planning to kill, clean all this out. Take out the filter socks, change it. Clean out the algae and all that stuff. So I hope you enjoyed this video, why clean? Get everything shut down. I'll shut down my UV light so it's not burning out. When I disconnect the pump, you can see the back lights off. I'm telling you that the front light is out. There goes the pump. I'm leaving this heater running. It'll be fine. I got a wave maker in there. Got to unplug that. I hope I know where all those plugs go. So that's unplug. Unplug the sump or the wave maker. Protein skimmer. All right, here. Damn, be dropping stuff. Alright, looks like everything's all ready for a go. It'll be a long process, folks. I gotta make sure this pump right here is out so this pump's running.
camera's almost stuck. <laughs> So, I got the bottom somewhat clean. Now I have to get in here. So, I'm gonna take out the socks right now. Too bad. All right, now I gotta try to get in here. That's clean in there. I don't know how well you guys can see it in here, but the chambers are clean. This is clean. This is staying as is with America mud. And I gotta clean this out. This mess. Look how messy this is. Fellas are hanging out. Let's look at my socks here. Let's fill the socks. I'm gonna put a short one in the second chamber.
have this foil on here because I don't want the light spreading out to over here and having all this algae up for every turn pump. Well, I got to expect this more. I saw some green bubble algae in here. Just gonna move this rock around, see what's going on with anymore. Right here is another one on the corner right there. So get these couple of things algae out before they spread into the tank here. I don't know, you see any old bubble algae in there? I don't. I see this troublemaker. I expect some of these rocks. Looks like some old bubble algae on that rock. Maybe somebody can help me how you think I got bubble, bubble algae in this tank. It's green, green bubble algae. I didn't add nothing in this tank except the Golby. Punch me. I, I don't see nothing else in here. Anything green, unless you guys caught it. I'll oh, make a mess now. But this rock here brings down, brought down my um, nitrates really good. So I'm happy with these rocks that I added these rocks in here. Because like I saw in my previous videos, I was spattering nitrates from 15, 16. And now I'm down to, last test I did it was zero. This recent test was um, I had some readings, minor readings, but nothing major. Using, using these racks. All right, I'm gonna clean the side here a little bit. I don't see no more bubble algae in there, so we should be good. You really can see how well these filter socks did. Look at all the muck in there. So these fil filter socks does a really good job filtering out all the muck from getting into my sump. Very, very, Satisfied with that result. Fish is doing good. There's that sucker. 
He's out. And the tank. So everybody's hanging in. They're fine. Coral's doing fine. Some clean out. A lot better. What do you guys think? Found some. Only found a couple in this tank. The green bubble algae. I didn't pop it. I suck it out with the dry vac. Got it out. I don't see any other green bubble algae in this tank. In this sump. I don't think it got into my main supply. Uh, my main tank. The reason is because I have a couple filters before it hits the return pump back into the tank. But I'm going to keep a close eye on my tank to make sure I don't see no green bubble algae on these rocks or anywhere. I do have two emerald crabs in here. Only if I can find them. They should do the trick if they spot any small little bubble algae, black algae. Any bubbles. They should hopefully get it before it grows. But I don't think anything made, made it to my main tank. Alright, what I'm going to do, get the pump and start pumping it back into this aquarium. See how much water got left. Maybe I'll do a water change. I think I put it in the return chamber. This hose. That should be fine. Pump in the return chamber, fill that up, and the sump is good. Good to go. I know I gotta get this thing organized. There it is. And there she goes. That water was 77 point something. And it matches my aquarium. 77.2. So the water is the exact match that's in the aquarium right now. You can see, not cloudy anymore. Not Sandy, Goby's not making a mess. I'll do a separate video about this Goby. As soon as I make sure that he's all calmed down. I'm gonna fill this section up, let it overflow to the refugium, and then it'll refugium back into this tank here. Uh, the, the first stage one tank, first stage department, however you guys wanna call it. As soon as all this gets in here, I'm gonna turn on protein skimmer. I'm not. I won't. I won't cycle this pump that goes into the AC unit until all that debris settles down in the sump pump. Because I'm gonna try to eliminate the cloud in here. That's the miracle mud. Go create. AC. Third stage compartment overflowing into refugium. And then going to the first stage department. Nice and easy. Nice and slow. Not making too much of a mess. Very, very happy. Going to fix that pump as soon as this gets filled up. This sump, I believe, I want to say it's a 30 gallon. Um, it's, a good, it's a good pump. It's a good sump. Not bad. I mean, it's, it's roomy. You can add a lot more mechanicals in here than what I have. But this was an upgrade to my Aqua Escape Refuge, um, Refuge Gym sump that I had. You can see one of my older videos, four years ago videos, how tiny that 
sump worked. But yeah, I like the system how I set up. I could pump it from the tub right in there with this hose. And then with that hose, I could use it. It'll siphon, it'll siphon that water out of this tank into the sink. And no buckets, no more buckets. I'm so happy, save so much time with the buckets. Uh oh. I might be in trouble. I don't think I made enough enough water. Gotta get every bit out of this. Well we well we have to see about this one here. Looks like I'll be cutting it close. So let me get this hose raveled back up. All right, moment of truth. Hopefully I got enough water and sump. It looks pretty much, uh, maybe low. Let's try it out. There she goes. There she goes. I gotta check the salt level in this tank. See if the salt level is high. Because I have to add RO non salt right in here. It's not going to make it. Nope. Ran out of salt water. Uh, I gotta put some RO water in here. I'm gonna check the salinity in this tank. Hopefully it's a little high. Cause I what when I add this RO DI water in, in this chamber, it'll be non salted. So I'll be back. So what I had to do, folks, my salinity was right on par in this tank. So I added maybe a half a gallon of water, and I had to adjust my chamber here. I had to lower it down more. So my re, um, sump, instead of being eight inches of, of coverage over the sump, um, I got a seven and a half. So seven and a half coverage, that's plenty for that, for that, for that skimmer. And got my, my, got my water level where it needs to be, right at this black mark here. It's a little down. So I'm gonna add just a little bit of water to bring it back up. But my, my, like I said, my salinity was right on par. So I didn't wanna add too much water in there and throw off my salinity in this main tank. You can see after I added the water, this probe here in the tank, um, 76.8, 76.8. This one, heater thermometer, 777. That's why I got all these temperatures. I don't know which one's right. And my 75.9 is in my sump. So my sump has 75, so two degrees off overall. Not, not too bad. I mean, I'm going, you know, the 77, 76. Two, that's not bad at all, folks, not bad. But that's, that's how I did it, folks. That's how I clean on my sump. I usually clean my sump off twice a year. 
if I don't get lazy. But I like to clean it out at least twice a year. I'd get all the night, um, get it, get all the gunk down there. Expect a sump, see what's going on, see what like I did. I expected it and I found some green bulb, bubble algae started to grow in my sump. So we took care of that. Took that out so it doesn't spread into my main tank. Expect the rest of the sump, this, you know, other bubble algae in here. So it was only contained in my sump. I will keep an eye on my main display tank to make sure that there's no signs of it. But like I said, I have two emerald quick lab crabs in there. If there's any signs of it, they should hopefully attack it. If I can find these emerald quick crabs. Hopefully they don't pass away. But that's it folks. If you like this video, please like, subscribe. I'm gonna have plenty more videos talking about my tank. Like I said, we're moving pretty soon. I'm gonna do a complete breakdown on this tank and it'll be all video. I'm gonna videotape the whole thing. It could be interesting to see how I break this video, break this tank down, haul it to the new place, and all that good stuff, and set up the new tank. So, folks, please like, subscribe, and have a great day. Oh, yeah, I have to get him a buddy. Yeah, I'll get you a buddy. Maybe go to the fish store later on.